Hey, hey, welcome back to the Think Bigger Real Estate Show. Um, I, I'm actually very excited today to talk about something that I'm obviously passionate about because you hear from me a lot when it comes to video. And uh, my personal uh, belief is that um, your clients ought to be hearing from you a lot via video. Um, I know for a lot of people that's very daunting and uh, you get stuck in, I don't like how I look, I don't like how I sound, I don't know what I'm going to say. Um, the reality is those really shouldn't be issues at all. And uh, I'm here to help you with that. And uh, I've got with me Shane Ryan. Uh, Shane's with BombBomb, Bomb, which many of you who know BombBomb Bomb know that it's um, a big time solution for real estate agents and helping them um, really take their video game to the next level. So thanks for being on the show, man. Hey, no problem. Yeah, glad to be here. Um, so Shane has a couple of tips that are going to help you get started to not overthink it, but just very simple things to get you in action. So, all right. So, I mean, the first thing is you can't change the way you look or you sound. So the fact that you guys may be scared to be on video should, should not be the thing like what we're saying here. So yeah. the big one that we want to see is you don't want to boil the ocean, right? You don't, there's Facebook live, there's Instagram live, there's YouTube, there's all these other avenues where you guys can be using video. Choose one and get consistent with that. So that's birthdays, it's anniversaries, starting with just your repeat and referral business. The people that already know, like, and trust you, you can start with them. It's gonna help you to gain your confidence so that you can start doing some more of the advanced things that we talk about all the time. So if you're here at Keller Williams Family Reunion, come by the booth, we talk about some advanced strategies. The other thing that you wanna think about. So real quick, I just wanna do a timeout. Yeah. I just wanna put a, um, an exclamation point behind what he said. Um, is that there's, that oftentimes again, there's so many things you can do with video and people are doing so many things that just pick one thing. And, and you pointed out an interesting point is that we tend to be most comfortable when we're talking to people that already know, know us, like us, and trust us. And to simply do even a one-to-one -one video, right? Yep. You, could, you could do it on your phone and send it via text or even a better solution is check out BombBomb uh, because you can, you can actually talk to your spouse. Like just get really comfortable um, having a conversation with people that, that aren't going to judge you, that aren't going to, care they just love you and and do that for a little bit until you get really comfortable with it right well absolutely and the, the thing that we have found so often is just starting with the, the understanding that people matter right our slogan here is we believe in you well you believe in your clients and so when you're reaching out to them and you're saying simple things like happy birthday or you remembered they just got back from vacation and you just want to see how the thing went or if you want to see pictures or if you want to meet them for coffee or something like that you're rehumanizing that way that you interact. It's no longer transactional. It's more about them. And that's the big deal. I love it. Great stuff, man. All right, your second point. So first one, start simple. Choose one thing. Go at it. What was the second point? Second point is kind of what I just was saying is that you need them to be the hero, right? You can't, yeah. you can't allow yourself to try and be the hero. I, I went to a, a training just recently in Columbia, South Carolina, and I asked all the agents. I said, raise your hand if you believe you're the hero for your client. And about 95% raised their hands. <laughs> And that's just not accurate. We, uh, I read this book called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. And that's he book. talks very, very highly around be the guide because the guide is going to stay in people's lives. Everyone wants to be their own hero. And so for you guys, that's what you need to start focusing on is how do you provide value so that you're helping them win their story? So good. So we've got a question here from Elizabeth Davidson, a friend and client of mine. How often should you post videos on social media, right? Uh, it's a great question. Um, I'll let you... Let's both maybe answer that. They might be different answers, but go ahead. What are your thoughts? Okay, so my, my thoughts on it, I mean, you think, I think you start with maybe once a week is your post on social media or maybe that, that email update to your entire database, right? Because you don't want to overwhelm them. I, am, I work in video and I, I think you can do it too much. And I think that was a great question because what happens is that if you do it too much and you're not providing value, then they're going to start unfollowing you. But again, with that, I'll put a little bit of caveat because you do a lot of videos every single day. Yeah. But if it's valuable, you watch, you tune in. You're tuning in right now at 7.30 in the morning because- 5.30 actually, she's in Portland, Oregon. 5.30 <laughs> in the morning because he provides overwhelming value. And so if you can do that every single time that you get on air, if you're providing value, you're not just talking about the weather or something like that, providing value for people, they're gonna tune in and you can continue to do those things. So I think that was gonna be my point is that it really depends, right? To get online just to get online to be heard, um, I don't think is a good strategy. Um, I think you really, if you have something specific to deliver that you know has helped people. I, I would say that most people do video too infrequently. Can you overdo it? Sure, if you're not delivering value, absolutely, 100%. Uh, but if you are delivering value, I think sometimes we think that everybody in our network is gonna see everything we post and it's just not true. Facebook algorithms and others, um, they favor the frequent they favor the content creators. Yep. And so even if you think like, oh my goodness, people don't want to hear from me every day of the week, even if you post it every day of the week, they might see it once or twice a week, right? Yeah. So, um, so I wouldn't overthink that part of it. What I would 
dig into, which is what Shane's talking about, is how do I provide value? And I think a great, a great way to do that is when you get a, a really solid question from, a, from, a, from one of your clients, you answer that question. Because if, if it helped them, then it's, there's gonna be value for other people, right? Correct, and I think one of the biggest things that agents can be doing is talking about your struggle. Because a lot of times you probably put in the perception that everything is great, right? Everything was easy. Well, I just talked to a FISBO recently where they were stressing out trying to list their house because they thought, you know, it's a seller's market. I'm just going to sell this thing. I don't need an agent. But within two days into that whole process, they went like they went crazy and they were looking for someone to guide them. So again, your, your clients and your people, potential clients are looking for you to be that valuable asset. And so if you can start answering those questions that people have and helping them understand that, or just talking about your day. And as you talk to people that try and do FISBOs or something like that, and just trying to be that guy to think that that's where you're going to win. That's good stuff, man. I love it. I love everything you shared. Um, I'm a fan of what these guys are doing. If you haven't checked out Bomb Bomb yet, um, $30 a month. Is that right? $30 a month here at Keller Williams. We're doing a, a big show la or a launch later down uh, in July, but they can get it here right now uh, at the show. So if you go to bombbomb.com forward slash KWFR, um, you will be able to get that deal. What if you're listening to this and you're not a Keller Williams agent? If you do it right now while we're at the show, okay, uh, which Perfect. ends today awesome. at five, um, you can you can jump on board. Great tip, I love it. I'm gonna put um, up here. It uh, looks like it, it's not. A, I'm, I'm gonna put Shane's um, email address up here on the screen. So if you have specific questions, in fact, he has a kind of a giveaway he wants to give anybody um, who is interested. Um, thanks, Elizabeth, also for um, chiming in. Um, Shane has a video influencer guide, right? Mm -hmm. It's something yep. that was. Um, it's gone through, in fact, one of my friends, Brandon Porter, I believe is in it this past year. Um, but people who have done video at a high level, there's some great stuff in there. Again, I don't want to go against what we talked about earlier, which is start really simple. But if you're already at that point and you're just looking at adding better content, better value. Yep. Um, These are the best in the business in real estate across right. the country. Uh, we had over 3,000 applicants and we picked just the top 50. So awesome. what they're doing in these different areas, there's five different categories. You can take a look at that. The other thing that I'm going to add, just because we're doing this on the show right now, is our real estate action plan. Uh, if you're looking to understand what are those one or two ways I could do video, and I, I just don't understand which ones I could do, we have a list of those, and we can give you those examples, and we'll get that to you guys. No no charge to you. Just send a, an email to Shane at bombbomb.com and this live, live video. Cool. I love it, man. All right. Thanks so much. Tons of value. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. All right.